and I have made this uh, butter bean hummus and I want to share the recipe with you all. So if you're new here, my uh, username for everything is Fitless Kitchen because it's Liz getting fit in the kitchen. Um, I'm not pretending to be at my goal weight or fit at, it at all. Um, yet I have lost about 105 pounds uh, as of the time of filming this video. Um, I have a lot more to go, <laughs> um, but we're doing this whole food plant-based, no oil, um, low SOS, uh, salt, oil, sugar, no oil, uh, no added sugar, no like unre no refined sugars. Um, and I'm pretty good about the salt. I very, 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 very rarely add salt. And if I do, it's a little bit in a sauce. Uh, and I try to sub it with miso most of the time. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, <laughs> Um, but I eat whole food, plant-based. I eat high carbohydrate, low fat. So what that means is that, not that I'm snacking on chips and cereal all day. I don't eat simple carbohydrates for the most part. I eat complex carbohydrates like starches from starchy vegetables, beans and legumes, uh, potatoes, um, winter squash, stuff like that. Whole grains, uh, whole intact grains for the most part. I do. I do dabble in some whole grain pasta because I just love pasta. Um, also some bean-based pastas um, and uh, lots of fruit. Um, there's lots of carbohydrates in fruit and they're all great for you. Um, and fruit makes me, gives me energy, it makes me happy. Um, my body relies on carbohydrates for fuel. Um, so I wanna give it that fuel. And I eat a lower fat diet to lose weight. Um, and also it's just optimal for me. And so what I eat in terms of fat are, there's a little bit of sesame in this hummus, which you can sub with other nuts or seeds if you need to, or leave it out. Um, I don't typically eat avocado because I can't really limit myself. Um, so I, I stick to a uh, whole healthy fats that I can limit myself to. I put two tablespoons of flax in my, nor in my morning breakfast every single day. Um, I have a couple walnuts now and then for health, a Brazil nut when I need selenium, things like that. Anyway, <laughs> let's get into this video where I'm going to show you how to make this phenomenal butter bean hummus. This is no oil, low fat, uh, no added salt. Um, I did add miso, but it's optional. Um, and this is just a healthy, delicious recipe, and I hope you give it a try. <laughs> I didn't intend to make my next video a hummus recipe since my first video was a hummus recipe, but. Um, I needed to get a video filmed, uh, and I was out of hummus, so it seemed like a good idea to make yet another hummus recipe. I promise next time I film a video, it will be something different, uh, either a more complicated recipe or what I eat in a day or something. Just why don't you let me know down below what you're looking for? Just leave a comment and I will read it. Um, since we're talking about that, do you mind leaving me a comment, a like, a subscribe. Those things really help my channel and I would love to continue hanging out with you all. So now that I have blathered on, it is time to make butter bean hummus. So butter bean hummus is basically chickpea hummus, except with butter beans. Um, and I've played around with the seasonings and of course you can use whatever seasonings you like. Um, so today I am starting with a can of butter beans. Um, I try to go for no salt added varieties of beans, or I make some from scratch. However, today I have salty beans, unfortunately. <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do is I rinsed these really, 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 really well. I'm not adding any salt to the recipe. I am adding a little bit of miso paste. However, if you are watching your sodium, I would buy either no salt added butter beans, maybe you can find them online, or you can find the dried beans and cook them yourself from scratch so you add no salt. Um, so just some options for you there. So I have this can of butter beans. Um, I'm not super concerned about the sodium, by the way, because I don't really eat any other added salt. Um, so here's my can of butter beans. Ugh. Almost dropped them everywhere, but you know what? We, we didn't do that this time. Um, so there's my butter beans. I have, I guess you would still call this aquafaba. Um, it's not chickpea liquid, um, but it's bean liquid. Um, this came in the can. I'm going to use about a half cup. It's at about three fourths right now. That's perfect. I'll reserve this and if my hummus is too thick, then I will add a little bit more liquid. 
If you don't have the bean liquid, you can also just use uh, cold water. I recommend ice water, but don't put the ice in. Um, and here we have some lemon juice. Fresh squeeze is always best, but sometimes we don't have that. Um, if you have to use bottled lemon juice, the Italian Volcano brand is really good. I buy mine at Costco in a two pack. Um, here I have that miso paste that I was talking about. This is just a uh, yellow uh, soy, soy based miso paste. Blech. Awkward. Always an adventure here. So here I have uh, sesame seeds. This is taking the place of tahini today. Um, if you, a uh, little known tip is that if you replace the tahini with sesame seeds, you're gonna cut the fat a little bit. And the way I'm losing weight is to eat a whole food plant-based diet um, with uh, low fat and high carbohydrate. Uh, so I'm doing two tablespoons of sesame seeds. Now, so in my experience in the Vitamix, the sesame seeds do blend up super fine and you get a super creamy hummus. However, I've heard this is not the case for everybody. So a lot of people recommend grinding these in your spice grinder beforehand, which you can totally do. Um, I'm gonna skip it, but you can totally do that if you wanna make sure you have a super smooth hummus or you don't have a Vitamix or something like that. You can also use a different seed, soaked cashews, uh, cashew butter, anything like that. Or if you're watching your fat really closely, like you can't have any overt fats, like for people on the SL Stin plan or something like that, um, you don't have to add it at all. The butter bean hummus is still delicious without the tahini or sesame seeds. Okay, now I have seasonings. I'm not gonna tip this because it's all gonna fall out. But I have a one tablespoon of nutritional yeast because I just like the nutty, almost cheesy flavor this gives the hummus, but it doesn't make it taste like cheese. I have non-fortified nutritional yeast here. I have granulated garlic, granulated onion, and then I have a no salt uh, blend from Costco. This is their organic no salt seasoning. Uh, I think it's really good. I really like the flavors that it adds. Um, butter bean hummus is a total blank slate. You can add whatever seasonings you like. If I were sticking to traditional hummus flavors, I would probably add cumin, but I'm not because I like to mix it up a lot. <laughs> so I'm gonna add this stuff in here. You could add um, smoked paprika or regular paprika. You could add dried herbs. You could add just about anything that you like. Uh, okay, I think I'm actually ready to blend now and this can be a lot of noise. Oh, and while it blends, I do squats. Even though today's supposed to be rest day. Whatever. I'm trying to turn it on backwards. So I just blended that for about 90 seconds. Keep in mind if you have a lower powered, that doesn't sound nice, but if you don't have a Vitamix or a Blendtec, and I didn't for a long time, um, you might need to stop slow, like stop the blender uh, and scrape down the sides with a spatula and keep going. Um, I once had a blender that really overheated if I did anything longer than 40 seconds, so I'd have to stop and go away for five minutes and then come back and blend again. Whatever you gotta do to get smooth creamy hummus, do it. So I'm gonna taste this. It looks, oh my God, it smells so good. It's pretty smooth, pretty thick. I am going to use my spatula. Try it. That's delightful. Um, so, mm, you just sit here and eat it. I prefer cold hummus and this gets a little warm from the blending, but that's good <laughs> and I'm hungry. <laughs> so I'm going to put it, I'm gonna put it in my container and store it in the fridge. This blender spatula is life changing. Maybe I'm being a bit eccentric. It is useful though. All right, so I'm gonna clean up this edge here. Such a hardship. Okay, so we have super creamy hummus. And what I like to do with hummus is, what don't I like to do with hummus? 
Um, it makes a great base for a salad dressing if you uh, blend it with, like mix it in a jar or something with balsamic vinegar, uh, mustard, other seasonings. You can add a touch of sweetness with some date syrup or maple syrup if you want to. I really like a little bit of California balsamic vinegar, basically any flavor, with the hummus and a little bit of Dijon mustard. So good. Um, you can dip vegetables in it, which is what I'm going to do today. I have some cucumber uh, cut up. Uh, usually I make a big plate of a bunch of different raw veggies for dinner uh, and have that before my actual dinner. Um, it's called preloading with vegetables. Uh, and also I use it as a sandwich spread. And sometimes I put it on wasa uh, light rye crackers. So I am going to try this. Uh, I got my cucumber, got my hummus, got a nice pretty big dollop here. Excuse me while I eat in front of you. Mm. That is amazing. And it's a really nice um, way to switch up your hummus. If you're making hummus every three to four days or every week like I am, and you just get a little bit tired of regular old chickpea hummus, which I don't know, I never make regular hummus anyway. I'm always adding something weird, like I have my spinach artichoke hummus, I already have a video on that. I have a roasted red pepper hummus, that video is coming soon. I have a cheesy hummus, I have a ranch hummus, I have a pickle hummus. I got hummus, okay? Um, but sometimes it's nice to mix up the actual bean uh, and butter beans and you know you, you mix it up you get different nutrients and it's kind of fun. Uh, so here's my hummus and I hope you try this recipe. Let me know how you like it uh, below and let me know what you want to see next from me. I hope you all have a great day. Bye!